I'd like to welcome you all to the first ever Nova Scotia Fruit Growers annual tour virtually. We are living in unprecedented times and it's just so amazing uh, that we've been able to pull this off and do a tour virtually for you. It's really quite exciting actually what we have planned. The Nova Scotia Fruit Growers Association would like to thank our generous sponsors without which this virtual tour would not be possible. Our diamond sponsors include Farm Credit Canada, Famucan Farms, Van Breek Farm Nursery. Gold sponsors include BSF, NM Bartlett, the Nova Scotia Crop and Livestock Insurance Commission, Paul Lanahan and RBC Dominion Securities, Scotian Gold, Truro Argomart, and V Cross Nurseries. Our silver sponsors include Bear Crop Science, Bishop and Company, Corteva AgriScience, Grindstone Creek Nursery, and Nova International Equipment. And our bronze sponsors include Cavendish AgriServices, Eastern Drainage, Evans Manufacturing Company, Nova Scotia Farm Loan Board, Perennia, Provide Agro, TD Agriculture, Upper Canada Growers. And we also have a general sponsor, Adams County Nurseries. I want to thank all those businesses for providing services for us to be able to run a business, our business growing apples here in Nova Scotia. I'm very grateful for that. And I just really want to thank all of them uh, very much for being willing to go on this venture with us in this, this new way. Reach out to, to them and say thank you. At this time, I'd like to welcome the Minister of Agriculture, the Honorable Keith Caldwell, to say a few words. Good day, everyone. It's wonderful to be here as part of the farm tour, the virtual farm tour this year for the first time ever. I've been to many of these events in the valley, and it's wonderful to see the fruit growers continue this tradition, this great tradition of bringing people in from all over North America to see the great work we're doing in Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia is a very special place for growing the high value apples that we've had and continue to grow. It's a real success story for the province. And I know there's many fruit growers who join us from other parts of the country in the U.S. today that hopefully we can all gain from each other knowledge so we can make our industry even better. It's very important to Nova Scotia for our economy. It's a fourth, we're the lar fourth largest producer of apples and fruit products in Canada, which we're very excited about. Nova Scotia probably had some of the first fruit trees in North America when it was settled many, many years ago. We've grown on tradition. We've really uh, come forward with the new uh, apples, uh, Honeycrisp, uh, Sonia, Ta Sweet Tango, and many other ones that are so wonderful to eat. It's, it's nice to see people uh, interested in this and how it's going to help our economy, and not only the economy in Nova Scotia, but the economy across the country. With the COVID virus we have now, we have a whole new way of doing business. And hopefully our weather conditions stay good this year. We, we just come off of two years, one year with a bad frost, and another with a hurricane that really, really wreaked havoc with our apple industry and our, and our farming industry as a whole. So hopefully this year will be a, a turning point, at least a, with our weather conditions, to ensure that our farmers are very successful. I wish you could come to Nova Scotia and see us. We have an open invitation to come as soon as the virus is over and see in firsthand the wonderful work that our farmers are doing. I can't say enough positive about the great work they do and they help grow Nova, Nova Scotia economy. We have to be very careful today too. We, we have to make sure we have enough food to supply our local communities and indeed the rest of Canada as we move forward. And we, we've had to talk more and more about food security, food quality and food safety. And the apple industry and the Fruit Growers Association of the province of Nova Scotia have done an outstanding job when it comes to this. So again, thank you for joining us today. I congratulate the fruit growers and the apple growers in this province for the great work they're doing and thank them for the work that they do to make sure we have employment in the province and provide an exceptionally good product for both for local consumption and for export. Thank you. I'd like to welcome Cody Blois, the MP for Kings Hance, to say a few words. Hi, it's Cody Blois, Member of Parliament for Kings Hance, and I'm here at Sarsfield Farms in North Medford, and I hope that you are able to enjoy this virtual summer tour. Of course, in a normal year, you'd be able to be here physically to be able to see our wonderful Annapolis Valley apple product, uh, but I hope that you take advantage of the fact that we can offer it virtually this year, and we look forward to seeing you back in 2021. Thank you to all the producers that helped make our agriculture sector so important here in the Annapolis Valley.
this time the production committee is going to say a few words. Thanks so much, guys, for all your hard work in putting this tour together. Truly appreciate it. It's going to be a great tour. Hello, Apple Industry. This is Dave Isis from Isis Farms. I hope you enjoy the virtual orchard tour. I'm Doug Nichols from Apple Lane Farm, Morristown, Nova Scotia. I'm Cassie Perilla. I farm apples and peaches with Luke's Family Farm. I'm Eric Chappell with Cat Farms. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dave Power of Power Farms, Inc. in North Medford, Nova Scotia. Hi there, Kelly Penner from Nazinga Farms. Hi, it's Waldo Walsh of Birchley Farms in Rockland, Nova Scotia. Stay safe. Hi, I'm Tim Sterling from Sterling Mountainside Farms 2017. Hi, I'm Danny Davison, Scotian Gold Tree Fruit Horticulturist. Erica Bent, Entomologist and owner of APM Consulting Limited. My name is Keith Fuller. I'm a soil scientist here at the Kentville Research and Development Centre. Hi, I'm Susie Blatt. I'm an entomologist with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. We'd also like to express our special gratitude to Michelle Cortens for her willingness and creativity in putting this virtual tour together. There's a lot of great information to be gained from each of the stops and sessions, and she has worked very hard to put this all together. So we're very grateful, Michelle, for all the hard work that you've done. And right now, I'm gonna turn this over to Michelle Cortens to be your guide on our virtual tour. Hi there, I'm Michelle Cortens, the tree fruit specialist with Perennia. The tour is about to begin, so make sure you get your coffee and some snacks, because here we go. 